Okay, so today we're going to do a quick tutorial for people on how to switch your items from buy it now straight to auction on a bulk format. Now this is great if you have some sticky stock in your store you're trying to clear or whether you are looking to move things from buy it now over to auction. Now I personally would always recommend to list items at buy it now. I honestly believe that's where you're going to get the most money. But in my instance here with niching down into clothing, I need a quick and effective way to move lots of the everything stuff over to auction, which hopefully will also gain some more traffic into my store. Anyway, let me talk you through how easy it is to do. So first things first, on your seller hub here, you click on listings. And then once that opens, you have a number of options. So for me, as I mentioned, I do not want to move my clothing stuff onto this because I'm trying to clear the everything stuff. So I'm going to select here on all categories and eBay categories. I'm going to select all the other categories what aren't clothing. So let me just scroll down. You will see I'm going to leave a couple off as well and I'll explain why. So sporting goods and sports memorabilia I'm going to leave off because I believe some of my clothing items might be in there. Some of the football shirts might have landed in there for now. So anyway, I'm going to leave that off for a second. And then, as you can see at the top there, we've got 66 categories. I'm going to go search. I'm going to change this format here to buy it now because I've already got some items listed on auction. And what I'm also going to do, so we have 131, I'm also going to only put on auction the ones that are less than £10 1p. So basically £10 or under. Hopefully that will find some. There we go. So we have a total of 78 listings here that I am now going to bulk edit and move on to auction. As I say, these items have been in the store a little while now and I'm gonna show you how to edit them to auction really quickly. So we click on actions at the top here and as you can see, that is selecting all 78. Then you click on this drop down here on actions and you click on change to auction. Now give eBay a little bit of time. If you do lots, it will take a bit longer. I suggest doing it in small bulks, maybe at sort of 100 max is what I'd recommend. Okay, so what it's done here, it's brought all the items into a bulk edit page. But as you can see, what it's done is actually brought the starting price in with it as well. So a few 9.99s, five pounds, seven fifty four ninety nine, ten pound. Now for me personally, I'm going to switch all of these to 99p star auction and I'm going to run it on a seven day auction. So as you can see, you can change the duration to 10 days, seven days. You can even have a one day auction. So you can decide what you want to do there. Now, a lot of people speak about auctions ending on the weekends the best time. For me, I'm always thinking to myself, as long as it ends in the evening, I don't care what day of the week it is personally for me, but you can and I will show you how you can schedule it for a weekend end. Anyway, so we're going to stick for seven days. As you can see, it's all on auction format. But what I do want to do is change the start price. So instead of me manually going down and editing each one, again, you can bulk edit it. It's really simple. So again, we click on the top box here, which selects all 78 items. Click on bulk edit. And under pricing, the one you're looking for is starting price. Okay. You've got options here. So you can lower buy. So you can do a percentage or a number, you can increase it by, but I'm just going to do a straight change to, and I'm going to put all of mine in at 99p start. We click apply, and again, give eBay a bit of time to update this. And down the bottom, you would have seen starting price updated in 78 listings, so we know it's changed for all of them. And if we scroll across a little bit, all of these items now are at 99p. What you can also do as well, if you wanted to, you can add a buy it now price in. You can also bulk edit that price in for items. For me personally, I have best offer on these auctions, so I'm quite happy to leave it at 99p. The most important thing is, and what I will say about auctions, you have to list it starting for what you expect to get for the auction. So if you have spent, say, £20 on an item, don't list it at 99p and feel like you're going to get over £20. You might not. So be prepared that the, uh, the start price you put it up for basically is what you probably are going to get for a lot of things. I've sold many things at 99p. Some things will do a bit better, but just keep that in mind. So you can set your start price for the lowest you're willing to accept. That is the best advice. 
So for me in this instance here, I'll be happy if all of these items sold at 99p because they've been sitting in the store quite a while now. Anyway, so moving on. So now we've done that bulk edit. If you do want to um, change the buy it now price, as you can see, there's an option there for buy it now. But in this bulk edit, there is so much stuff you can do. We can change the condition. You can change the item description, uh, specifics, the title and subtitle. She, there is lots you can change, so check that out as well. But what I want to do now is to show you how I'm going to schedule this to end on the evening. So we can scroll down on the bulk edit. If we go down to start time, it gives us the option of when we want to start the auction. So I'm going to set mine by clicking schedule start time. I'm going to set mine for tomorrow. So today's the 17th of October. I'm going to set mine for the 18th and I want it to end in an evening. So, because I'm running a week auction, it's gonna end the following week, but we're gonna start the auction at 7 p.m. And I use this one quite a bit as well, so space out multiple listings at intervals. The reason I do this is I can imagine if someone is trying to buy multiple items from me, it gives them time to jump from auction to auction to actually bid and maybe get a snipe at the end of the auction. Also for me, I suspect a lot of other resellers will be buying stuff from my store knowing it's going really cheap and I'm absolutely fine with that. It also helps create the multi-order discount you can offer as well. But anyway, because we're running it at se uh, seven o'clock and we've got 78 items, I'm gonna run it and leave it at one minute apart. So by the time it gets to, what's that, 18 minutes past eight, I believe, all my items will have started on the auction. It gives people enough time a minute. If I was running, say, 20 items, I might space it out five minutes apart or even 10 minutes apart. You can do up to an hour apart, but for this example, I'm gonna do one minute, click apply, and again, give eBay that time to process it all to make sure. And again, the bottom is start time updated in 78 listings. So I'm confident now that's what's gonna happen. Now, all I need to do, the final thing I need to do is click submit. But what I will do beforehand and what I've done is go down and check your titles. Just check you're going to have the right keywords in there. There's probably some I could add a few more keywords, etc. But just make sure you're completely happy with it. Make sure you are on a seven days. Make sure it is auction. And one final check. Just make sure the start price is what you want. And then click submit all at the bottom there. And this is where you've got to be really careful. So I have the middle store on eBay and I'm allowed to run a certain amount of auctions each month free as part of my store subscription. But check what you have because on this part here, be careful because for some people in insertion fee, they might charge you for every single listing. And I've heard of people switching two or 300 items over to auction and getting charged per listing. So it can add up quite quickly. And if you're running things at 99p, you might struggle to even pay for the insertion fee, so just be super careful. Anyway, as you can see, mine is zero, so I'm gonna go submit with display fees. One click there. Process from eBay, and there we go. So it says 78 listings are now live, but as you see, I've scheduled it for tomorrow, so it won't go live until tomorrow. And then in seven days time, the auctions will end, and then you'll get a real good feel about whether you've got desirable items in your store, because I normally try and run the auction sort of three times in a row. If they don't sell after the third time, I remove them from the eBay store and I find another way to get rid of them. I either donate them or take them to like a car boot sale, whatever it may be. But it's a real good indicator whether you have actually gone out and sourced a lot of rubbish that isn't desirable. And don't feel bad about it because we all have and we'll probably all continue to do so. But it's a real eye opener when you switch things to 99p and they don't sell after three times, you kind of realise you made a mistake. Anyway, hope that's helpful, little tutorial, and I will be back soon with more eBay tips and tricks for you.